Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is the second video in my sublimation series and today we're making sublimation mugs. So I have been playing around with the sublimation process on a coffee mug. These are a couple mugs that I just made and you can see just how vibrant that is. And the beauty of this is this is permanently put into the ceramic of the mug. You can't feel it, you can't scratch it off. It's dishwasher safe, it's permanent. It's going to last the life of the mug and it's going to stay vibrant like this. So it's a really awesome way to, and easy. I mean, can you imagine you would have had to weed this plus get it on there straight, plus normally when you go around a round surface, you end up with kind of a bow in your design. So this is a really easy way to customize mugs, relatively simple. It's not a, um, it's, they aren't real costly to make once you have the equipment. The, the equipment is a little bit of an investment. I will link everything that I have in the description below the video. Now, when I made these, I used regular copy paper. I did not use sublimation paper. So today we're gonna use sublimation paper and I wanna see if you guys can tell a difference in the vibrancy or if, Maybe just using copy paper is just as good. I'm using sublimation mugs. Again, you can't just use any old coffee mug. You need to use a sublimation mug. I'm also using a design that I made in Adobe Illustrator, but you can use the Creative Studio software that is free that you get with the Sawgrass printer. I just chose to uh, work in Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop. I like working with both of those. I'm just familiar with those and I've used them for a long time. So you are able to create your own designs, save them, and then print them to the Sawgrass printer. What I will tell you is if you do work outside of the Creative Studio software to create your designs, make sure that you go back and print through the Sawgrass print manager or upload your design to the Creative Studio and print from there because it does make a difference. If I print directly from Illustrator, I don't get near the same results. So make sure you use that print manager. Now I have a Mac and so to use the print manager with Adobe Illustrator, all I have to do is drag and drop my design right into the Sawgrass print manager folder. And that's right here, then I can click it. It will automatically open the Sawgrass print manager and when you print for a mug, if it has writing or anything that is directional, you want to make sure that you mirror the design. So I'm, it automatically ticks the mirror box. So I'm just going to click print. Now it normally takes a few seconds for the signal to go from the hitting the print button to the printer because it sends it to the Sawgrass servers and then back down to your printer. So it takes just a moment for that to happen. Okay, it's starting to print. I'm gonna pull out my print tray there. While it's while we're waiting for that to print, we're going to prepare our mug. So when they come, they are in this plastic wrap. I leave them in there until I'm ready to use them. And then you want to use a lint-free cloth. This is a microfiber towel. And just wipe off, make sure there aren't any pieces of lint on there. And try to touch it as little as possible. You don't want to get a lot of inks or lotions from your hands onto the mug. And you can see my design printed right here. Now it looks really muted, absolutely normal. The heat, once it turns the ink into a gas, is going to make everything really vibrant when it transfers. So I'm going to cut around my designs. So I've cut each of my mug designs down. This one is going to make a print that looks something like this. So there's one on each side. And this is more of the wraparound print like this. So you can do whatever you want. You could put you know, writing on one side, you could put a picture on the other, you could put all pictures, whatever you want. But this is what we're going to do. So I think I'm going to do this one first. And again, this is on the sublimation paper. So let's see if this comes out really vibrant. So what you're going to do is just wrap it around and I try to center it as well as I can in the back. So I've got it wrapped around just like this and you want to use some heat transfer tape or heat resistant tape. Don't use regular scotch tape. And you're just going to secure that 
down just like that it's just taped on and you want to make sure that it doesn't move if you feel like it's not secure I think I could actually make this a little bit tighter just tighten it up add more tape whatever you need to do but you don't want it to move once you have it on the press All right, so we've got it on the mug. Now what I'm going to do is place it in the mug press 400 degrees for 250 seconds. So I'm just going to slide it in just like this. Close the press and hit enter. And it's going to count down 250 seconds at 400 degrees. That's what works for me. While that's waiting, we're going to take this one out and wipe it off. And we will go ahead and prepare this one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Wrap it around, try to get it even. And we're going to tape that one down. Now, when you're taping, it helps if you don't get tape where the actual design is, if you can help it. If you're doing a full wraparound, that's kind of hard to do, but sometimes it'll leave a little piece um, that's sort of discolored where that tape is. Not always. I did it on this one and you can't tell where the tape was. But just a general rule of thumb, if you can avoid it, avoid it. So we're going to let that one count down. We're at about 160 seconds left, so I'll let it count down. I'll be right back. Okay, we are at about 10 seconds, so I'm going to walk behind here so that we can get our mug out as soon as it's done. I'm going to open up the press. And while this, while this handle is not hot, too much, the mug is extremely hot. So I'm, just as a precaution, I'm going to pick it up with a cloth and remove it from the press. So here's what it looks like. You want to go ahead and remove the paper very carefully. Don't burn yourself. And voila. Look how cute that turned out. So I do think, well, I mean, just the picture itself, I don't know. I don't know if it looks more vibrant. It's just a different colored photo. But I do love how it turned out. It is so cute. So let's go ahead and start the second mug. So again, I'm just going to place it in the press. Handle up. Make sure that it's nice and centered. Let's close it. Hit enter. And we'll count it down for this one. So again, you can see the difference. Here is the finished mug and here's what it looked like. I could probably get another press out of this. It would be a little bit lighter, but basically when it prints, it's going to look very muted. So don't panic when you print. But just, I mean, I don't know how well you can see without the glare, but just super, super cute. All right, so it's almost done. Should be count, oh, there we go. I'm gonna open this up. Again, I'm gonna carefully remove it, holding it with a hot pan. Let's turn that chirping off. Here it is. Just going to carefully remove it. Super cute. Well, there we've got Ace. And Evie, and that was actually a light photo anyway, to start with. So, so this is a lot of fun. I think the kids are going to love these. If nothing else, I had a lot of fun making them. And as you can see, super easy to make. Very personalized gifts. I'm gonna put this one down, it's hot. Super easy to make personalized gifts for grandma, for wedding keepsakes. This would be really fun to do for um, 
wedding parties or for uh, your gifts to give away at weddings or for showers, girls night, all kinds of really fun things, promo items with your logos, super easy. And again, they aren't really expensive to make once you have the equipment, once you have the investment of a sublimation printer, a mug press, a heat press, sublimation's really not all that expensive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a lot of fun creating these and I can't wait to make some more. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.